Hey guys, this is just going to be a quick video announcing the new AEA Center Punch pellets. If you've been watching the channel, you may know already that this is some game-changing ammo. It's better than anything out there. It's better than the previous best ammo, which was JSB and FX. And it's definitely not just me saying it. You guys are going to start seeing this ammo everywhere. So I'll give you a rundown of the different weights available in each caliber. And at the very end, we'll compare them with some close-up shots to some JSB ammo. Link in the description if you want to pick some of this up for yourself. All right, you guys, this is the sample that I got from AEA. Basically one of everything. And if you've been watching my videos lately, every single video, I bust out the AEAs and every single video, they do the best. So these are, and I'm just going to say it, better than JSBs, better than FX. And I'll show you why. There's no such thing as a deformed AEA pellet. They're all perfect. They have a new way of manufacturing this stuff. I actually got to give Ben a call and ask him exactly what the deal is, but they're center punch. I don't know if that's how they're made or what, but look at that. That's about what they look like as far as being precise and awesome. So let me just uh, show you what we got here. In a nine millimeter or 357, we got the good old 79.17 grain and we got some 80.8 grains. So those are very close to what the JSB weights would be. In the 30 caliber, we got the 45 grain and the 50 grain, 50.5. Now here's where it gets interesting. These are 25 calibers here. So we have the 25.3 grain, which we're all familiar with. And then we got the heavies, the 33.9 grain or 34 grain. But right here in the middle, AEA has given us some 25 caliber, 29.5 grain. Loving it. So, gonna be awesome that, you know, of course, any of you who are new to air guns, accuracy has a lot to do with the speed that your pellet is flying. So you, you generally want your pellet to be flying 870 to 890 feet per second. What a weight like this will allow you to do is, let's say you got a gamo, or you got some non-adjustable air gun, where you can't adjust the power. The 29.5 might be just the pellet that will get you going 890 feet per second. So that's why they make different weights. So here we got, these are 22s right here. 15.9 grain, we all know those. 18.3 grain, I'd say my favorite pellet in all brands. Then at the end right here, we got the 25.39 grain or monsters. Those would be monster JSBs. And then we got some 21.9 grains. So I'm not sure if they borrowed that weight from H&N, but it's basically the same thing. You got a pellet gun that's shooting these too slow and these too fast. Boom. There's your pellet, bro. All right, you guys, we got two brand new tens right here. 30 caliber, even in JSB, you're not gonna come across a lot of bent ones. These are the JSB, these are the AEA. They are actually both looking really good, but when I was looking at them, you could see like, see kind of right here on this one? Just a little bit jaggedy around the edges, it seems like. Yeah, so there's the JSB. You got a seam down the middle. And you see those little scratches and abnormalities, I guess you'd say. All right, now let's get a close-up look at these guys. And these are the AEA. So I could see, uh, you know, a little bit of jaggedness on that skirt right there. And these guys do have a seam right there. Sorry. Right there, you see that? So they do have a seam, but it's not quite as pronounced. Okay, this is the JSB. I just randomly grabbed two of them. And so we see right there, we got an abnormality. A little scratched up there. And there, of course, is our seam. Seems a little more pronounced on those. And then this is the AEA right here. Also, you can see the bottom of that JSB skirt's all jacked up right there. So let's just grab two more random ones and look at them. This is the AEA right here. It looks pretty darn perfect. And this is the JSB. I could see definitely less perfect, you guys see. So those are just two random ones. JSB just has a lot more abnormalities and looks like the skirts chewed up a little bit. So anyway, it's just the uh, perfection of the AEA pellet, I think. That really does it. Imperfections in both of them, but it seems like the JSBs are just a little worse. You can see those skirts are a little chewed up. I don't know. These are just kind of refined and finished better, I believe. They definitely fly a lot better. Not to say that JSBs don't shoot perfect, but 
I'm just saying what I've discovered in the last uh, five or six videos. Every time I put these in a gun, they beat the JSBs. All right, everybody, there'll be a link in the description. Just shoot on over to the pellet shop if you need some of this AEA ammo. Until next week, happy shooting. We'll see you on the next one.